Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I went shopping today and I spent £150 on makeup, which is something that I literally never do. I always buy drugstore makeup. Every now and then I'll splash out on like an Urban Decay palette or something. But I've been wanting for a really long time to just splash out and buy expensive makeup and see if it's actually any better than like Boots ones, because usually, you know, Boots foundation stuff, it, it does the job. I look okay with it, but I've never tried like expensive foundation or anything like that or primers or setting sprays I've never really used. I've used cheap primers before and it didn't really make a difference. But I was thinking why not try like more upper class brands and see if they actually do make a difference to my makeup. So I'm just going to show you what I bought. Some of these things I've been eyeing up for a really long time in Debenhams and I just thought screw it I'm going to treat myself and buy everything I've always wanted so I'm going to show you what I got and maybe try a few of the lip colours on because I needed some replacements to my Kylie lip glosses because they're really really bad and I've had them for years and I just don't want to use them anymore they're really bad quality so the first thing I got is this Too Faced chocolate gold palette I actually meant to get the normal chocolate palette and I picked up the wrong one um, so I'm not sure what kind of shades are actually in this I wanted the normal one and then when I got to the tills I was too afraid to be like that's the wrong one which is stupid because I paid so much for it however Paige my sister pointed out that the gold one is probably better and a better addition so like I'm probably getting better value for my money and I'm not really too mad about it like it's basically it looks from the back basically the same kind of shades I just really like the purples and the other one that I had it looks like there's only one shade of purple in this but it's fine I can always save up next month and treat myself to the rest of the palettes because I want them too and I want the pink one my dad got me the dupe versions for Christmas and they're really really good but it's I every time I go into Debenhams for about a year I just stare at these and I don't buy it so I thought I'd treat myself it's just it's a bit more expensive so this was £39 which is quite expensive but here's the thing I've I always use Urban Decay stuff and I never use any other brand so I want to try different eyeshadow palettes and I'm obsessed with eyeshadow I have so many palettes it's ridiculous and I just wanted to see if this one's any good and Too Faced is a brand I've always wanted to try out I haven't actually looked at it yet so I want to see what shades I've actually ended up buying I really hate ruining the pack packaging especially of like more classier upper brand makeup things is that just me like I really hold on to the packaging Ooh. So you've got a how-to book to teach you how to do your makeup. It says chocolate is worth its weight in gold. Oh, and it's got some like makeup looks that you can try. Oh, I might do this. I might actually do this for a video or something one day. But anyway, I think that's pretty cool. And you've got the actual palette, which is definitely the wrong one. I wanted just the brown one, but that's okay. I'm sure this one is just as good. Oh my god, look at that. So you've got the gold here and it says chocolate gold on it. Okay, this is way brighter than the other one. Oops. Okay, so this is going to be more for dramatic looks. Oh sh I definitely picked up the wrong one. Oh, it's fine. It's cool, it's fine. I'll get the other one another time. I'm such a twat. Like, I have such bad anxiety I can't even say, excuse me, I've picked up the wrong one. It's so expensive, but it's fine. This is definitely more for nights out, so... <laughs> this is not what I wanted, but it's, it's fine. So this is... You got the shade Money Bags in Green, Chocolate Gold, Rich Girl, Co Coca, Truffle, uh, Descendant, Love and Coca, Old Money, New Money, Famous, Classy and Sassy, So Bougie, Bougie, I don't know, um, <laughs> Holler for a Dollar, Gold Dipped, Live in Lavish, Dip in Diamonds, and Rolling in Dough. These are so like extra such bright colors that I don't usually wear and these definitely cannot be worn to work or anything like that or for a subtle look this is definitely more for I'm going out clubbing on the weekend I really did pick up the wrong palette I wanted the one where it was more subtle nice like browns and stuff but I guess I've got enough palettes like that anyway with the Urban Decay ones so I'm a bit disappointed I picked up the wrong one but at the same time I'm interested to see how these look and if I can pull it off I've never really done like bright eyeshadow colours so I guess I'm gonna have to give it a go now because I'm not going back there to return it because that's just embarrassing. I'm quite intrigued of how I could make this work. It's definitely gonna be a challenge and I think they'd be very pigmented, very 
beauty guru. I've been wanting to try the Too Faced palettes for a while, so I'm not really too upset that I picked up the wrong one because I think this will be a challenge for me and I can do some really nice going out extreme like full on glam looks with this. The next thing that I got I wasn't going to get, but I, I've never used primer or like makeup setting spray properly before, especially like really expensive ones, but I always, I've been really into beauty gurus lately if I'm honest and I just want to try doing like full on glam looks. I've definitely been trying harder with my makeup. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I've been wearing this for hours and I've been trying more with like my makeup looks in the morning, getting up earlier for work so that I can, like I've just been enjoying doing makeup more and experimenting. I wanted to see if primer and setting spray would actually make a difference. This is Urban Decay, do that guru Urban Decay Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming, Priming Spray for Firming, Smoothing, Radiance Boosting and it's Urban Decay Rebound and this was £26 which it seems a bit ridiculous to pay £26 just for a primer but I thought, treat yourself YOLO, I want to try it, I want to see if it makes a difference, if my makeup stays on longer, if it looks better, if my face looks smoother, and I, I just want to see if it's good. If it's bad, I'll never buy primer again, but I just want to try being an actual makeup person. This is it, it's just a little bottle, I think it's a spray one. I actually wanted like the squirty one where you put it on your wrist, uh, on your wrist, where you put it on your hand and then you like rub it in like a moisturiser, but when I opened the drawer and I was too nervous to ask again <laughs> for them to get me some so I just got the spray version and hopefully it'll work easier um, than rubbing it in. I think you just hold it away from your face and spray it on and then wait a few minutes and then put your makeup on. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like read the instructions which is so sad. You know, I just wanna get better at doing makeup and do it properly. So yeah, £26 for this. Why? Okay, so the, the other thing that I got, this was reduced to £16.80. Originally it's £24. This is also from Urban Decay. If you can't tell, I'm a really big Urban Decay fan, mainly because it's the only big makeup brand that I've ever really tried, but I've fallen in love with it. This is the Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray, D Sleek, and it's oil free paraben free temperature control technology. I don't know what any of that means but this is what it looks like. Please focus. Just to set your makeup, you spray it on after your makeup. This is another thing I've always thought was kind of pointless, but my makeup does smudge sometimes, as you can see, like, especially this new eyeliner I got from Boots is terrible. I always get like smudge lines down here and here at the end of the day, and I'm hoping this will help that to not happen if I use it. And sometimes, you know, my lipstick can go a bit funny, my nose goes a bit funny. So I'm thinking this might help that and make my makeup better quality. I've never really used setting spray in my makeup, it tends to last all day and night, so I don't know, I'm just hoping it'll stop my makeup getting a bit smudgy. This is the bottle, it's literally just black, again like the other one, you just hold it away and spray on your face and it sets your makeup. So yeah, I'm hoping this is worth it because it's so expensive just for primer and setting spray. Like, I thought that would be like £10 tops, but I guess it's top quality, so we'll see if it's worth it. I should have just started with drugstore primer and stuff, but it's fine. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Um, it's full coverage, long wear, matte finish, and it's waterproof and oil free. Urban Decay again, obviously. Um, this was a certain amount of money that I can't see. I think it was 26 or 23 or something like that and the woman was really nice I didn't know which shade to use because I've never used anything other than drugstore so I always just go ivory so <laughs> she was really really nice because the first time I tried it on I put too much on my hand and she was like need a wipe and then she helped me and then she helped me chick chick she helped me pick my skin tone she was really friendly usually in there I feel a bit intimidated they look at you like she doesn't know what she's doing or she can't afford this but she was really, really friendly. I don't know if it's because I had a full face of like makeup or anything, but she was really nice. She was helpful. She helped me to find the right colour for my skin. I'm hoping it looks good on my face. She did offer to put it on my face, but I was like, nah, I'd rather not wipe, wipe off what I'm wearing right now. So she let me do it on my hand and she was very friendly. And 
that made me want to buy it even more because I was very hesitant on buying it but she made me want to buy it because it was great customer service so yeah so the last thing I got from Debenhams was the Urban Decay concealer this is the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer 24 hour wear, matte free, oil free and this I kind of picked the shade myself I went for a really light shade because I know you're meant to do a really light shade for concealer to make your under eyes bright and stuff like that so I went for the lightest shade in this fair warm and I'm hoping it will work well this was I think it was like 18 pounds or something I don't know I'm guessing I had the receipt but I've lost it but yeah also I forgot to say the foundation was shade 2.0 if that helps anyone. Then I went into boots because I was like, oh my god, I've spent like £200, like just today, not on makeup, but like with food, travel and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I need to be a bit cheaper now. My sister was like, you need to try black lipstick. I think it would look really good on you. I've been wanting to try black lipstick for so long, but I've been too scared to, but she was like, just do it. So she persuaded me. So we went into, I think it was super drug. I got this bleach London. Focus. Bleach London Black Text Me Back Matte Lip Paint and Matching Liner and I just, I don't know if it's going to suit me because I'm so pale but I've always wanted to try black lipstick. This was £12 and I thought it's better to get something more drugstore-y if I don't know if it's going to suit me because otherwise it's waste of money because Paige was trying to convince me to get the Urban Decay Black one but I was like it's like £20 for one of them and it's like I'd rather spend slightly less in case it doesn't suit me. I'm excited to try this and I'm going to do a makeup look with it and I hope it doesn't draw all the colour from my face and make me look really pale, which I'm scared is going to because I'm so pale and it's such a gothic co colour but like dark shades have always matched my skin tone more, more than like pinks and stuff so I'm hoping it'll work. I'm excited. The last two I got from Superdrug were eight pound ones. I got them mainly for the price, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been really wanting to try red lipstick for a while now. So I picked up this Gosh Matte Lip Lipstick. It's like a dark red. I was gonna go for bright red, but I wasn't sure it would suit me. So I went for dark red. I've just really been like craving doing a red lip lately. I don't know why I think I've just been watching a lot of gurus and saw a lot of red lips and I've never really done that before. So I wanna try it out. I usually go for purples, dark browns, that kind of colour, so I think this will suit me, I'm hoping so. If it does, I might wear it to work a little bit, not really sure, if it looks too much then I won't, but I just want to get more into lipsticks too, so I I got this because £8 is better than spending £40 on a shit cosmetics one that just crumbles away. Now I can use some good lipstick, I hope it's good, but I don't know, it might be. And then I got this gosh one that is a dark brown. And this was also £8 from Superdrug and yeah, I just really like the wand applicators of liquid lipsticks. I prefer that way more than like the typical stick lipsticks so I know this is gonna suit me because I have this shade in the Kylie ones and dark purples are like my favourite go-to lip colour so yeah. I also got some free samples of perfume at Debenhams which made it seem a bit more worth it that I spent so much. But yeah, in total I spent £123 at Debenhams on that makeup and I spent 27 in Superdrug. So <laughs> you can see the difference on drugstore and not drugstore makeup, but I just wanted to try it out. If you want to see me try any makeup looks then let me know in the comments below and I will do it. But I just thought I'd show you what I got because I spent so much and I was like I might as well get a video out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you can like, you can comment, and you can subscribe. Give me your recommendations because I'm new to like high class makeup and I want to learn more and I want some good recommended, recommended, I want some good recommend, rec recommendations for fair skin and I'll try out some makeup looks, maybe, I don't know, but I want to do more makeup stuff on my channel for sure, I'm really into it lately, don't know why. But anyway, see you in my next video. I make new videos every Thursday and Sunday, and you can subscribe, turn on your notifications, and bye.